We are in Canadian customs and it, it, the, the line is extra extra long. But this is what the, the Montreal airport looks like. It's very shiny. This is where we are. Stars. Stars. Very awesome. Oh look, that's us giving a talk. And that's us doing a panel. Woo, panel. And now we're back in the dome. <laughs> this is the main thing that we saw in Montreal, was just things in the dome. Some of them were really flashy, but this one is cool. Yeah. This one was from the Montreal Planetarium director, and he was showing off his fancy Earth simulations, which are very beautiful. Yeah, I think this was about how people feel like you're in a dome and everything's around you, but you really can change perspectives and you have to change how you're showing things to affect how large they are and how close you are relative to them. Which is something that's true in VR too, that I feel like a lot of people don't talk about, is that it really does make a difference like where your camera is with respect to the scene. <laughs> it's like, even though you can see the whole scene, it, it, it matters. It matters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't get footage of this part, but um, there are three stills. This piece actually went on way too long, but this part was really beautiful, so I wanted to include it because red birds. Oh, I actually missed this one. You saw this one by yourself. Yeah, I actually really like this one too. That's why I filmed it, I guess. Um, uh, it was a lot of the pieces were very, uh, I guess, like three D geometry yes. that you slide through. Yeah, kind of. but this one was kind of unique. Um, so pretty. And the oh, this was that um, like fossil thing that they were talking about. Like showing something really tiny in really high detail, I guess. This is a real image, there is no CGI involved, and now it changed. More 3D geometry time <laughs> in the dome. So, yeah. This was, this was very, like, typical of the things that we saw at IS. Yeah, there was not a lot of sort of live content, it was mostly rendered and geometric and artsy and Oh, this was the, the uh, there were some uh, technical talks given the dome too, which I thought was really interesting, like putting flat content all the way around the dome just so everyone could see it. Um, and this was the camera researcher, no, sorry, camera researcher so from the University of Montreal talking about his fancy spherical 3D camera uh, six. They were 120 lenses? I think they're 220 at least. But they were 220 or 230 because they need to be. I mean, otherwise, the like the middle bit would have nothing uh, ever. Not toward it was a side. really cool camera. We saw it live too. So that's so we're gonna get a version of it. Uh, by the way, we There's the GoPro version that, that we might get. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. I hate that term fisheye lens. It's like so big. It's really I'm gonna get all the good footage because yeah. Emily's camera never works. <laughs> <laughs> So this was a show that we actually both ate dinner through because we were so hungry we just skipped it. <laughs> but it was still, you can see a little bit of it. Basically they put this dome inside the dome and lit up the dome while showing things on the dome. And also they had like a bright light inside that would, from this that would cast shadows in the dome. Oh part of it. yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, it was part of it. You don't want to know. Oh, Outside dome with different from the inside yeah, giant dome. And, and so still inside really giant dome, but can't see it. I love the way the red, like, I don't know, drips down. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Now I am outside. This is a journey I went on my own. This is um, one of the great things about Montreal is you can just go on walks everywhere and everywhere you go there is crazy art everywhere. And this is this fun pedestrian street and I am questing for right here where there is art. Crazy walking cane thing. Cane art. The canes? It looks so like creepily biological even though I know that it's just canes. Art arting. And I am arting, although you don't realize it. See, now I stand really still for a while. Like, just really still, because the canes went really still, so I thought I should be really still. And, like, just, like, no facial expression. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the mesh we were talking about. I oh, yeah. Awesome. See, you can see it. I told you you'd be able to see it. It's pretty it looks, yeah, it looks pretty similar. Although it's pretty cool in the SFO airport. But yeah, like now, at some point you end up being right under it, which is, I think not yet. I, I like wander around the whole space for a while before I get under it. But there's also, yeah, there's also like, there's this whole like huge feature of like water feature at the end of the like, is it first? Up the water, across. Yeah. Oh, and this is when we went to visit old Montreal, which was lovely. And there are so many amazing buildings. Building, buildings, buildings, buildings. buildings. Hi, Emily. Buildings. I got a camera. It's Where's an excited camera. And we're going to go look at the buildings. Buildings, buildings. We made it. I didn't know it was so close actually until I asked the internet where it was. I was like, oh. Thanks, internet. If it was right here, why have we not visited yet? Post conference. But it's like actually closer than some of the places we've been to. Like, we could have made it here and around in the same distance it took to go to that restaurant yesterday. I bet they have food here too. Yeah, food. It's super pretty. These are great buildings. A plus. Audrey is totally over old buildings because she's from the East Coast and she's fancy. What? <laughs> Up the stairs. 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 There's nothing old in Colorado. I thought for a second that maybe the water and the fountain had been dyed red, but I think it's just the lighting. Yeah. No, it's the blood of the innocents. <laughs> See I don't I don't know that it's art. When we passed it at night, I guess the construction was art on top of a beautiful well, it's actually also old church. It turns out it's not a church. What is it? It's and there was like some construction in front of it because it would be it, it's like a student center of some kind. It's basically just a facade. This was my favorite thing of your videos that uh, I didn't get to see was the thing the the circles that you go to next. Uh, yeah, I like that too. It's, One of them. It's kind of insane how much art there is in the city. Uh huh. So it's cool because they all look like they line up and. It's just like a thing through here like this. But this one is really small. So 
Only little kids are getting to the there. No, not even little kids. It's really small. Wobble, yeah. I had to go around the long way. And then we get here. And this guy is like, what? what? What is going on? What? Why is she? Are you? And then he climbs through and he's like, fine. I'm gonna <laughs> Are all the other ones the same size? No. And it's like they get bigger than this. VR workshop, but I forgot to record all of it, so you get graffiti pictures instead. Woo! Pictures. There's a lot of graffiti. I don't even know. I think it's graffiti because I think it's there intentional. I think graffiti usually refers to not yeah, intentional. Like murals. Art. I love that shot because there's three murals in that little area. <laughs> oh, and then after we saw a bunch of um, murals and walked around and stuff. The Contemporary Art Museum because they had a free museum day, which is amazing. And Audrey and I both agreed this was the coolest museum. It was called The Column. And it, the whole video, the whole video is probably half an hour long, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure how long it was. But it's just following the construction of the marble column from the point where it's mined out of the ground here to the point when it's a column on a boat. Yeah. And then you don't know where the column goes. And it's absolutely, there's no, like, there's no voiceover talking anything. It's just pictures, and it's so pretty. And especially the section on the boat, I feel like there's so much amazing, like, time lapse mm -hmm. stuff with the light, like, moving over yeah. the column and stuff. Although this, is, this show is really beautiful, too. It's like, Opportunity to see this movie at the art museum in Montreal. It's the Museum of Modern Art. It's the Modern Art. Museum. I think it was contemporary. Contemporary. Art. This was also there. This yeah. is my <laughs> illegally taken shot. I got in trouble for taking this. It was inside of an Anne Hamilton piece, and the guard immediately was like, "Get out of there! You're not supposed to do that." I was like, "Oh, sorry, dude. Sorry, sorry." It's <laughs> like running out. Three is ears. I borrowed them. They move. They're aerobotic. Yeah, I can go robotic ears. You can pat yourself. It's really awesome. And I have mango skin. This is mango skin. It's delicious. They have little like they, they look like little teeny garlic pieces on the inside. So it looks like this on the inside. This is the part that you eat. Oh. Did you have to buy a bigger Okay, okay. <laughs> this new this noodle place where you took me, what was, what are the noodles called? Uh, la mian. It just means pulled noodles. Oh, I had never had it before, and it was so good. And it was really awesome to watch this guy work. Yeah, it's pretty fun to watch 
them actually make the noodles. It's, in fact, I think the main selling point of these restaurants. I mean, also, they have fresh noodles that are awesome. Yeah. But, like, the amount of skill required to do this... He's so fast. It's just like, boom! And then, suddenly, you have noodles! So many noodles. Come. Peace! I like not having your practices. And we actually, we even went to a bar. I was so proud of us. I'm wearing that dress right now. <laughs> that was one thing, like, people do speak English there, but there's so much signage that's only in French, and including menus, and at this place there was no English on the menu, so we were just like, oh, give us thing. So I'm a not alcohol person, so I went to the bar and got a non alcoholic drink, <laughs> which is okay because it was very good for the first bit, and then it was too strong. Which I still don't understand what you mean. It was too strong. <laughs> But anyways, I had fun. It was a good conference. It was art heavy instead of the whole city and the conference actually are art heavy, heavy instead of networking or tech heavy, which was my favorite part. I like art. Here I go trying the drink. Yay! <laughs> and that was it. Apparently. <laughs>